Hello everybody, Top Ball here with Left Handed Knife Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Spyderco Astute, model number C525GP. Let's get right into it. First up we have our facts and figures. This is going to be a 3 inch blade in 8CR13 MOV steel running on washers. The scales are made out of G10 and are affixed to a stainless steel. And the handle measures in right at 4 inches. This whole knife weighs 2.6 ounces, and at the time of review, it sells for $45.50 on Blade HQ. Alright, first up we have our unsharpened Dixon Ticonderoga pencil. Followed by our Spyderco Efficient. It's another budget option from Spyderco. We will follow that up with our Civivi Elementum. Good option from Civivi, and last up, the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. All right, let's move on to Larry and my experience while using the knife. The Spyderco Astute was nice to review. The G10 has a really good texture to it, which gave us a very secure grip. The size of the handle really almost gave us enough room for our hands, and we were able to hold the knife comfortably in a couple of ways. This knife has a good consistent lockup, and overall, this knife was pleasant to carry for review. All right, let's look at what the Astute succeeds at. The ergos of this blade are good. Even for me and Larry's larger hands, this knife fits very well in the hand. It has a very thin profile, which I thought was gonna be a problem because I did not like that in other knives that I've reviewed, like the Ontario Rat Number 2, but with this knife, just that little bulb shape really kind of sunk into the hand really well. The blade on the Astute also is three inches long, but at its thickest point, comes in right over three quarters of an inch at 0.875. This knife packs quite a punch for the small package. This package also really isn't scary. It's not a head turner when you pull it out, which in some instances is quite nice. Next, let's move on to what the Astute struggled with. This knife struggled with its finish a little bit. As with other spider codes in the budget category that we've reviewed, there were some sharp edges along both the spine of the blade and inside of the spidey hole. A quick file knocked these down, but it was something that we noticed right out of the box. Also, there are a couple finishing touches that I really did miss on this knife. There's no texturing or jimping along the back of the blade, where my thumb most often ended up resting. And there's also no texturing on the actual liner lock. It's just flat steel, which is something that I did notice and I did miss while carrying the knife for review. Next up, we have our points of note. Points of note are neutral things that we want to mention, but fall in that gray area between successes and struggles. The pocket clip on the Astute is not a deep carry pocket clip. It is a good pocket clip and it has a nice little ramp and fits snugly in our pockets. The G10 has a good texture, similar to that of both the Tenacious and the Efficient. The knife also grew on us. Our opinion turned more favorable over the amount of time we spent with this knife. This was a knife that when we I pulled it out of the box, it's kind of a, oh, that's cute. But over time, this is a knife that definitely serves a purpose and has a place in the budget lineup. Next up, we have everything that's left. Part of the review, we talk about everything that's left-handed. So, the pocket clip on this knife is reversible. Uh, either tip up or tip down carry both left or right-handed side. So that is nice. Um, the liner lock does have a pronounced cutout, so it is easy to get your thumb across to manipulate it, but there is no texturing and there's nothing that really kind of holds onto your knife other than the basically 90 degree angle that is on the steel. So repetitively using the knife can put a little bit of wear and tear on uh, the side of your thumb, which is unfortunate because this knife, you know, other than that, um, it's quite nice. Um, and then there's the deploy. The deploy on this knife for a left-handed individual is not great. Um, on the right-handed side, you can see the whole hole. There's a little ramp in here. And you can open it really easy with the thumb stud. Spidey flicking for a right-handed individual is quite difficult, um, if not 
impossible depending on the size of your fingers. For a left-handed individual, there is this huge ramp over here, um, which allows you to get into it. But most of the, the spidey hole, the thumb opening hole, is actually buried behind the knife. So even though there is that ramp, it is still difficult to get it out with the thumb hole. The good thing is, for a spidey flick, if you can do it, it's a lot easier. This knife did require a little bit of lube and a little bit of tuning to get it to be able to do that, but much like the Efficient, it is easier to deploy this knife with a spidey flick than it is with a thumb hole for a left-handed individual, if you can get the knife to the point where it's able to do that. Um, it definitely takes some wear in time as well. When I first tuned this in, I was able to barely get it open with a spidey flick. Um, but over time, as everything is settled and kind of worn in, it has become easier for me to do it. Larry cannot do it. Larry could not flick this knife open. He had to use the thumb hole, so it was incredibly difficult for him to get it open at certain periods, which definitely gave him a much more negative opinion of the knife. So it's something to keep in mind for left-handed individuals. All right, let's talk about our final thoughts and recommendations. The Spydercrow Astute is an interesting knife. This knife grew on us over the course of the review, and we definitely think it holds a spot in the $50 price category, even amongst other Spyderco budget knives. That being said, there are things that we believe are missing on this knife. Some of the finishing, some of the touches that would really elevate this to the next level. The deploy on this knife also was really a struggle. For somebody looking for a knife for EDC, that's very compact, this is definitely a knife that we can recommend. If you're not looking for something compact with this size blade, there are definitely other options out there. The Spider Coefficient, the Spider Co Tenacious, there are also other $50 options from Civivi, CRJB. There's definitely a lot of really good options out there that are gonna give you a larger knife. But if you're looking for this size knife, this is definitely something that we can recommend. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe for more great knife content.